Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers. I didn't really realize it was that late. It's 11.37 p.m. here. So I'm just going to get right on to the second video, which we're doing the serious and fun facts of 1991. Now I don't have a whole lot, but um, it'll take us back a little bit. Some of this will. Okay, in 1991 here in the United States, George H.W. Bush was president and the vice president was Dan Quayle. I don't remember that for some reason. I don't remember there ever being... I remember the name Dan Quayle, but I didn't remember him being vice president, huh? That's weird. Okay, and the only other real serious thing I had was the World Wide Web was launched to the public and Microsoft.com went online. Okay, in music, some of the things that happened in music, Paul Simon had a free concert in Central Park and an estimated 750,000 fans attended. Uh, Natalie Cole released her Grammy Award winning song, Unforgettable, which I think was another one that popped up on one of the charts as a number one song. Um, Whitney Houston remade the Star Spangled Banner for Super Bowl XXV. Bruce Spink... Bruce Springsteen married his backup singer, Patty Scalfa? Scalfia. Willie Nelson was married to Anne D'Angelo in 1991. Okay, the top TV shows were 60 Minutes, Roseanne, Murphy Brown, Cheers, and Home Improvement. And the top five movies were Terminator, Robin Hood, uh, Prince of Thieves and um, Beauty and the Beast was number three and number four was Silence of the Lambs and I actually just seen Silence of the Lambs not too long ago I had never seen it when it came out and it was on TV on a movie and I watched it <laughs> creepy anyway baby names um, famous baby names were Michael Christopher Matthew and Joshua for boys and popular girl names were Ashley, Jessica, Brittany, and Amanda. In sports, the Minnesota Twins won the World Series. The New York Giants took the Super Bowl. And the Stanley Cup went to the Pittsburgh Penguins. And then a little history in sports. Baltimore Orioles played their last game of Memor at the Memorial Stadium. And then Michael Jordan was named NBA's Most Valuable Player for the second time. Okay, and then the average household income was $30,126. A new car would cost you $15,473. And the aver average price of a new house was $147,200. And minimum wage at the time was $4.25 an hour. Okay, um... It was. I should have done this when I done the TV shows a while ago, but I missed it here. It says the final episode of Dallas was in 1991, and it aired on CBS. And then it was announced that Jay Leno would succeed Johnny Carson once he retired the next year in 1992. Okay, and it also the very last thing that I have is the Jerry Springer show debuted also, which I left that out on there also. So, anyway, that's about all I got. That was 1991. Um, I really don't know what I was doing in 1991 other than where I worked. And I think I was still out there <laughs> partying away. Um, but it wasn't too long after that I met Chuck. So then I settled down. But anyway, um, if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, be sure to hit like underneath the video if you like it. And be sure to... Tell those people that you love that you love them each and every day. And peace out.